It was Christmas time in London. There was a man named Ebenezer Scrooge. He was a hard working man, but at the same time, he was a miserable, greedy, cruel, and stingy person who didn't know what generosity meant. A day before Christmas, Scrooge and his clerk, Bob Cratchit, were working in the office. Scrooge was always counting his money while Bob was counting the minutes to go home to his family. Merry Christmas, Uncle! Christmas? Uh, Christmas is only a lot! You don't mean that, Uncle! Of course I mean it! Christmas just an excuse not to work! Besides, what reason do you have to be happy? You are so poor! But, Uncle, what do you reasons have to be sad? You are so rich! Uh, don't get angry, Uncle! Why wouldn't I? I live in a crazy world with fools! Merry Christmas! What is Christmas? It's just the time to pay bills with money you don't have. Where you see yourself a year older, and not a minute richer. A time where you buy gifts you can't afford. But uncle. Go celebrate your Christmas only and let me celebrate my way. But uncle, Christmas is the only time people alone just night. It's time for forgiveness, love and charity. It's time for people open their hearts to one another. Let's do it Christmas. Wow, that was a wonderful speech. I wonder why you don't work for the government. Don't get in your uncle and come to our house tomorrow. My wife and I are preparing a delicious dinner. You will be our special guest. Thanks, but no. But why, uncle? Have a nice day, a happy new year, and goodbye. I wish, uncle. Have a merry Christmas. I wish, thank you. Goodbye. How about that? A clerk who works with minimum salary, with a wife and kids, talking about Merry Christmas. You must be crazy. Sir, I have finished copying all the letters and filled the paperwork. I also brought in more files and swept out the dishes. And well, it's closing time, Mr. Scrooge. Fine. If your work is finished, you can go now. <coughs> Mr. Scrooge, tomorrow is Christmas. A day to spend with family. You will plan today off, I suppose. Well, yes, Mr. Scrooge. After all, it's Christmas. Fine, take tomorrow off, but be here early the next day. Yes, sir. Merry Christmas, Mr. Scrooge. Oh. Time to 
to a small town which the coach started to remember. He then remembered the houses, the church, the river, the bridge, and the people. They cannot see us or hear us. They are just shadows from the past. This house seems familiar. Oh, this is my house where I grew up. Yes, it is. And do you recognize that little bo boy sitting alone reading? It's me as a child, but why am I? Why is he alone? You must know the answer. Because my parents were working. That's why I was always alone. That's why my Christmas was so sad and lonely. Come, take my hand. We don't have enough time. No, I have seen enough. Go away, don't torture me. We have one more stop. Our time is running out. Christmas was only a lie. 
He should be ashamed. He is very funny, but not a pleasant person. You told me that he is very rich. So what, darling? His wealth is useless. He doesn't do anything with his money. He didn't count it with us tonight. Because he's busy counting his money. <laughs> <laughs> he prefers to get angry as than to farm with us. They don't like me. No, I was the feature change. How can I change the feature? The road disappeared and they continued their journey. They visited many countries. They traveled to far away lands. They visited sick people who felt happy, rich people who poor people who felt rich, shelters where people felt home. It was a long night. And everything happened in just one night. That the ghost of Christmas present was born. Morning. 
Good, I have not missed it. There is a big, juicy turkey at the butcher shop window at the end of the street. Buy it and deliver it to Cratchit's house. But, sir, this is a lot of money. Keep the change. Hurry up. The critters are hungry. Yes, sir. Hey, kid. Yes, sir. Merry Christmas. Thank you. And Merry Christmas to you, too. The crutch had to go back to his mother's house. He was feeling really happy and excited. He waved everybody in the street and treated nicely. Hey kids, take this money and buy some Christmas candy. Thank you, sir. Merry Christmas. Thank you, sir, and Merry Christmas to you too. Uncle, I'm very happy to see you. I'm really glad to change about change your mind about the Christmas dinner. Come and celebrate the holiday with us. Yes, thank you for accepting me. We are happy to have you here. You arrived just in time for the turkey. After dinner, Sukurut said a few words. Thank you. I have never eaten a more delicious meal. But I have to go now. I have some other people to visit and some other things to do. Bless us, bless us everyone! 